guys, it's Sarah, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to paint um, a strawberry picture. And this is going to be similar to this picture right here. I painted this one yesterday, and we're going to be doing the same techniques, except with a strawberry. So this one is a pineapple, and um, it's pretty simple to do, and I'm going to be explaining it to you guys, and you can do it with a pineapple, or a strawberry, or a watermelon or anything you want. Okay, so for this you're going to need a canvas, a white canvas, this one has already been painted on, I painted that yesterday. Um, some green paint, some white paint. Um, you're going to need like some dark red or pink paint. I'm going to be using Craft Smart's just red paint and this is their mint green and this is just their white. And then um, you're also going to need some of their darker green, like their holiday green. And we're going to mix their holiday green and their mint green together to make like a strawberry color. And then you're just going to need some big paint brushes and some small paint brushes. And you also are probably gonna want a paper plate to put your paint on. So I'm going to go grab a paper plate because I totally forgot that and then we can get started. Okay, so I got a paper plate here. And this is one of the thin ones. So, um, we're going to squirt our paint. And you're also going to want, like, some brown or black paint for these seeds. Um, we're going to use a toothpick. Oops. No, that's chalkboard paint. Don't want that. Um, trying to find a good, like, seed color. Okay, so we'll work on that later. So um, we're going to start by painting our whole canvas green. So I'm going to time lapse this so you guys can see what I'm doing, but it won't take too long. Okay, so I have painted my canvas, and to paint it, I used Craftsmart. I, I already told you guys the brand, I think, but I forgot to say this is acrylic paint, um, and I used mint green with a splash of their white glue. And these are all acrylic paints that I'm using, and they are all mostly Craftsmart. I think they all are going to be Craftsmart, except for the seeds. They might not be Craftsmart. So... Um, I mixed those two to make a pale green, and you want to make sure that it's a pale green because, um, if it's not pale, then it'll blend in too much with your strawberry, um, leaves. So, um, once you do this, you want to make sure you get all the sides, and once you do it, you're going to let it dry completely, which, if you're using acrylic paint, should take, like, 15 to 30 minutes, and, um then you then we'll come back and we'll do the rest and what i also forgot to tell you you're gonna need a pencil for this just to draw out your strawberry so um i'm going to let this dry and then i will come back to you guys so it's actually almost dry pretty much so yeah but i will come back to you guys when it is dry okay so it is pretty much dry yeah so this is the color result we came out with and it's pretty good there's a few wet spots but that's okay and also you are going to need a cotton swab and a cotton ball to make the small strawberries okay so now that this is all done we're going to grab a pencil now you don't want it to be like super sharp because that can mess up your painting and it can like chip away the paint okay we're just going to remove everything out of the way. Let's put some paint over here to level it out. The camera is right here. Okay. So um, for the strawberry, you're going to kind of want to draw it to the side. Or you can draw it upright. This is my pineapple when I drew it to the side. It doesn't really matter. We're going to draw ours upright. So you're going to start by drawing like, like a little curve like that. And then you're going to go down. And then inward. Okay, this is 
very tricky because I did not do that right. Um, so basically, you're just going to draw until you feel like you got the perfect strawberry shape. And if you need to, you can always paint over something and then wait for it to dry again. But that's kind of long, so I just use an eraser. That's why I like to use my pencil. So I like to draw my strawberry and then the leaves, or whatever fruit, then the leaves. So um, let's draw a bit of a like flatter top. and really curve that in. So it's almost like drawing an upside down triangle, except it's got much more of like curvy edges instead of just straight up. Let me fix that tip right there, cause that's kind of bad. And you do want to be careful with your eraser not to make it like too rough on the um, canvas because it can mess up your paint job. So um, after you do it, you're going to erase all the extra lines that you left if you did like multiple lines because you just want one fine line. So here's my strawberry. It's pretty much just like an upside down triangle, except the edges are curved. And the top is more um, curved than the bottom. The bottom's got more of a point shape, but not too pointed. So there's the base of my strawberry. And then for the stem, you're just going to pretty much draw like, um, so you're going to start on the center of the top and you're going to draw pretty short leaves. Strawberries, these aren't that long but you do want them to be decently thick because strawberry leaves are pretty thick and for my pineapple my leaves are more long and thin for the strawberry you want them to be short and thick more thick than most because you really want to capture that strawberry vibe so almost like all the leaves like that except pointing in different ways so I like to start with the top and do my two at the top and do one one way and then the other the other way. Like this. Now this may take a little bit of practice so you can always ask for help on this or watch a tutorial. It doesn't matter. Um, so I like to do like two like that and then keep going to the side with every one. And you don't need that many leaves because it is a strawberry and strawberries don't have too much leaves. So I'm going to do like six about, maybe seven, and it might go in between and do a few more, but you do not need too many. always turn it this way to really capture that leafy vibe. I mean not turn it to capture the leafy vibe. But um like turn it to um help you draw it. I cannot talk today. I'm sorry guys. Okay, so um I got on my leaves and they're kind of just um like out there sort of but the way that they are curved and getting smaller and smaller it makes it look like it's going in like a circle almost like a halo over an angel's head and that's what you want it to look like so um i'm going to hold this for a second and you can pause the screen and draw it and copy this so okay um so after you have drawn this i paused the screen or i mean i didn't pause the screen but you guys can pause the screen Feel free to. Um, this is a tutorial, so you can pause it at any time. Okay, so now that you have this, you're going to get your strawberry color. 
and I'm using Craft Smart's red acrylic paint. And the color is just red. This is their newer red color. I don't know if they have like made it old, have an old version. You can really use any pink, red, anything. I just think this color is like perfect because it's not too dark but not too light. And then you're gonna want to take a brush. This one is like totally damaged from my sister. <laughs> she was painting, and actually. We're going to use this one. This is a size three brush. It's like a fan brush almost. So just dip it in your paint and paint the strawberry part red. So I'm going to pause this and then do that. Um, is that from the brush? This is looking kind of purple and I think it's because the green background, but that's okay because we can do multiple layers. So I'm going to pause this and paint it all red and then I will come back to you guys. It's okay with looking a little purple. That's kind of good because strawberries are purple. So I'm going to fast mode this and go. Okay, so I got my strawberry painted on and you can see it's kind of like a thin in some spots, but that's okay. So now we're going to work on our leaves while the red's drying so um for the leaves i'm going to mix a holiday green from craft smart with um some mint green and the mint green is just to lighten it a little bit so we don't want it super dark but we don't want it super light so um oh this lid was kind of oh wow that's lovely so just add a lot of mint green actually i mean I don't think we really need any um, mint green to this because it is very dark on its own. So let's not add any mint green, just use the holiday green and it is about that color right there. That is its color. So you want to find a clean brush or just go clean off this brush. I'm going to clean this brush off. Okay, so I got my brush all um, rinsed and it doesn't really need to be that dry kind of left on your shirt um and i would recommend wearing like an older shirt for this you're not old but like just like a play shirt or something one that you're allowed to get dirty because you might get paint on it so um now we're going to go in and work on painting the leaves so um you can use a smaller brush to get the tips of the leaves because it will be kind of tricky and this is a very very thin paint um, I need to rinse this brush, so I'm going to go do it. Um, so this paintbrush did not revive well. So we're going to use, ooh, found one at the bottom that I don't think was used ever. This is a size two paintbrush, so it's very small. And this will be perfect. You're going to want to get some, oh my gosh. Hands are wet and sticking into everything. Um, so you're just going to want to get this and kind of spread out the paint evenly. And because this is a very thin color, we are just going to have to do a bunch of layers, same with the red. And you probably will have to do some layers with the um, bottom coat. That's okay. And the reason I have been painting like this is because, you know the pineapple one I showed you? That one's going to go on the wall. And then next to it, I'm going to have this strawberry one. And then I'm going to make another tutorial video on how to do a watermelon slice, which will be coming pretty soon. My brother did mess up the canvas, so now i got to go over it. And, um, well totally redo it so that's fun and um yeah and I do want to tell you guys I'm going to try to start doing at least one video every two days so um stay tuned for that because I need to start uploading a bit more videos or at least I might do one every other day And if you make a mistake, just wipe it away because it's very simple to wipe before it's dried. But there is no mistake, so just happy accidents, <laughs> as Bob Ross would say. 
So if you guys are not good at painting like me, or I wouldn't say not good, I would just say not the best at painting like me, then um, this is pretty simple to do. So I would recommend trying it out and giving it a go because I am not good at painting like at all. I was not given that talent. Now my brother on the other hand was, but not me. So um, if you're not the best at painting, then try this out and maybe you're actually going might do it pretty good. And the main thing about this that you have to be good at is drawing, because you have to draw out the fruit. I'm not good at that either, but that's okay. So um, I'm going to go get some cotton swabs and we can work on the rest of the stuff and a toothpick for the seeds. So I'm going to go grab those and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got three Q-tips and three cotton balls, one toothpick. So be careful with the toothpicks, kids, because you can stab yourself. Whew, I ran, so now I'm kind of out of breath. Okay, so for the cotton balls, you're going to kind of take it and almost get all that extra away. Shape it like a strawberry, sort of. And then you can dip it in the red paint and then just dip it on the paper. And you want to do this every space or two. Now these do absorb a lot of paint, so you're going to need a bit. You can go over them one more time. And um, maybe let's put one right here. So then you have a bunch of like miniature strawberries on there. And then you're going to take your Q-tip and you're going to dip it in the green paint and give it just a few little leaves. Now you can, um, I'm using the same green, but you can always use a different color. Um, so now that I have all my strawberries on there, you can see um, there's a bunch of little itty bitty strawberries. So pretty much all I did for that, if you didn't catch it, is I um, took this, dipped it in the red, then put it on there to make our strawberries. And then I took my Q-tip and I just drew little stems. It's pretty simple. Now you can do this for the big one if you take the cotton ball and go That works fine. And um, now we're going to wait for it to dry. Then we're going to start on the second layer um, of our strawberry and it's actually already pretty dry so let's go in with the second layer I'm going to bang 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 now we can go in for the second layer of our strawberry and um, you're just going to do the same thing as you did for the first layer except this one is the second layer. So um, I'm going to come back to you guys in a second. Well, I'm gonna do time lapse. Okay, so um, I have painted the strawberry again and it didn't get full coverage, but that's okay. Now we are going to start on our um, like seeds. So I did find some black paint that I didn't see before. Well, um, I do have like a tannish but we're just going to use black this is nicole's craft studio paint so this is not um oops <laughs> this is not craft smart but it's nicole's craft studio so you can use craft smart as long as it's black so you're going to dip your tooth i mean your um, toothpick in there then you're just going to dot and you're going to do a whole bunch of dots and this is going to take a long time 
So I'll come back to you. Okie dokie, so I have finished um, the seeds on the strawberry, and you can do seeds on the um, small, smaller strawberries, but I'm not going to because I think it looks cute without like the details on those. So here they are. I might have added too many seeds, but there it is. And um, this is actually all you have to do. And then if you want, you can go over the um, small strawberries or go over anything you want. And I think you should really try this craft if you are ever bored, because I'm sure a lot of you guys are bored right now, having to be stuck at home, because it is kind of boring. So um, the only thing you really need is paint and a canvas, and or you can do this on paper if you really want. I'm just using a canvas because they work better for me. Um, that's pretty much all for this video. Hope you guys liked it. I always do that. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and turn on notifications to get notified anytime I post a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye!